Hi Cancer, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel. Wow, the reading for Gemini was wow. It is an eye-opener um, and even for me and with each reading you do, I do learn things and you never stop learning. So that might not be anything to do with you, with your reading, we'll see. But um, today there have been strong messages for Taurus and uh, Aries and Gemini. So if you know a Gemini or a Taurus or an Arian, then share their uh, romance reading if you like. And please share and like in general. Um, welcome, like I said, to new viewers and welcome to my Cyber Angels for returning and supporting the channel. Thank you very much, it's appreciated and I'm grateful because without you we wouldn't have the family, the cyber family that we have. And for the new viewers, if you would like to become a cyber angel or a cyber babe, then join us in the live and you'll get your wings. Then you're officially a cyber angel. And Cancer, this is your reading for March 2020 and please become a member just down there hit the subscribe button and the bell, then you'll be notified when I go live. I go live every day and I give away free cards. There's also super chat and super stickers available. That means after a donation, you'll get three cards and a oracle card as clarification. There's also a little eye just down in the corner here or up here, and that will take you straight to the website. Have a scout around on the website. The website is beautiful even if I say so myself, and it is informative and it is regularly updated or will be regularly updated. I do weeklies and monthlies in the romance, so let's get started. And you can also find more information below this video in the description box. Your first card is Attraction. Your you attract a romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So be the beacon and enjoy every single moment, even if it's just smelling a rose or being in the garden or being out in nature, you'll be attracting attention. And you've got the key to clarify this. You've got the key and the key means you can open doors to love and you can close doors to love. So open your solar plex and your heart to receive love and light and the beautiful energy of love. Okay. Then second week we have passion. You might be very passionate or might just start a new passion and hopefully that will turn out into a permanent relationship. Allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. Like I said in the first week, open your solar plex and your heart to be able to receive the new. You might be getting love letters. If you didn't get it on Valentine, then perhaps now you might. These are letters, but you can also get text messages or MS, MS messenger, uh, messages in Messenger, telephone calls or emails. Wow, that's uh, nowadays that is how we work. And what happens? And in the third week, you might find out this is your true love, your ultimate love. This romance is of a lifetime. This is the romance of a lifetime. Wow, I hope so for you Cancer, you deserve love, you are lovable and you have the dog. This could be a friend and you're seeing this friend in another perspective or in another light, like a lover. So, hope it is a yes, the dog means friendship. Um, that's why I say a friend that you know might turn into a love relationship. Also, but the dog also means this friend is loyal, trustworthy and magic because luck is on your side. In the fourth week, Cancer, you have give your relationship a chance. P 
give your relationship a chance. If a friendship uh, turns into a relationship, it is most probably going to last because you know that friendships, relationships are built on friendships, on proper foundations. Work on your partnership. And you might be going on holiday with this person because we've got the boat here. And the boat also means abundance is coming in. This could be money, but could also be love. It could be a, a nurturing. Somebody might be taking care of you instead of you taking care of the other. It should be even. You should take care of them and they should take care of you. I'm using the Lenormand decks um, because the Lenormand won't say whether it's a Leo or an air sign or an earth sign or a water sign or a fire sign. It's more neutral. Anybody could come in. And that is the message that I would like to give this month um, by staying neutral. Somebody, you know, don't expect, expect the unexpected. That is what I'm trying to say. And learn to compromise. Learn to compromise so that you can keep the balance. And so should the other. Then we have the Archangel Michael card. And I, uh, Archangel Michael has given you this card or has come through with this message for you. Creative solutions. Think outside the box. And on this card it says think outside the square. Archangel Michael assists you now to consider and examine alternative options. This will lead to a peaceful and a perfect resolution of issues at hand. This sort is presented symbolically to you by Archangel Michael as a call for a definite action. The action that is required here is physical and creative action. The approach that you routinely undertake to to problem solve will be ineffective with the current situation or issue that you are dealing with at this present moment in time. Angelic guidance will be delivered to you when you embrace a change in your regular thinking. Visualize yourself standing in a square. The square is secure, but it, its space is limited. As you stand in the square, the shape imposes a self-restriction on your mental processes and functioning purely as a result of incomposition. The process of thinking outside the box or square may also require physical action, such as moving outside the four walls of your mind or your home. Archangel Michael may guide you to meditate with him sit, walk or garden with him outside the restriction of the four physical walls. Your lungs will fill with fresh air, your mind with clear thoughts and will clear in readiness to receive valuable guidance. When you embrace a change in thinking, you allow the influx of brilliant ideas insights and, mo uh, and moments of genius to surface that provide miraculous solutions to problems and difficulties. Alternative meanings could be critical thinking, creative endeavors, new experiences, hidden potential, leap of faith, inspiration, wisdom, intelligence, self-mastery, logic, self-reflection, opportunity, soul-searching, reinventing, evaluating, unique solution, and vision, originality. So it's basically in two words, reset button. It's to change the way you think and to see yourself. What can you do to be the beacon to get what you wish for? Well, the other angel card, and that's the angel feather oracle card, is vermilion. Vermilion, bright red. Light a candle, the angels feel your bereavement and loss, and are here to wipe away the tears. 
it's now time to connect with your previous love. The familiar angel feather is presented as a symbol of precious love. The angels have been closely wrapping their, wing, wrapping their wings around you since your love one passed. This could be a pet, this could be an, an, an actual love, or this could be something else that you've lost, something that you loved. We ask that you now connect with your loved one in the spirit world. Light a candle near a photo of them as and say any prayer. Then ask that they give you a sign now or in the future that they are around you. Each time you light a candle with love in your heart, your spiritual connection grows. Know that the angels have been delivering love from your loved one to you whilst you sleep every night. This could also be for those that are younger and that could have had a granny or a nanny or a grandpa or a granddad. Um, they are there to support you. You might feel alone now because you might have split up or you might be alone and not booked up. So it could be just a simple loved one or it could be a pet. Just some somebody that you always turn to, to love and canoodle and cuddle. The affirmation that you can use is I am able to express grief, release it and then move on with my life in joy. Other symbols of the familiar angel feather is increased creativity, increased joy, increased optimism, positive view of life, nurturing each of bodies and courage. The crystals that you can wear is Syncite and Jasper Iron Quartz. The angels that are associated with the uh, familiar angel feather is Archangel Sandalfon, the Angel of Tears, Archangel Satkil, Angel of Prayer and Comfort, the grief and that comforts also the grieving. And there is Angel Muriel, Angel of Emotions, and there are a couple of more angels, but I think three is enough. And red is the grounding ch chakra, although it is the bright red angel feather. In other words, ground yourself and stand in your strength and ask the angel Sandalfon and Archangel Satkil to help you get grounded and Metatron. Now, the last angel card that you have is career angel. Perhaps you have been too busy with your career or your study and 18 becomes a nine. So there is an ending, an ending. And there is room for a new beginning. So perhaps you have finished your study or you have finished your career um, or you are moving on to the next career. And perhaps you might be meeting your new partner in this new place if you are not hooked on. If you have, a, if you are hooked with somebody, if you do have a partner, there could be even more attraction. You might be even moving up to the next level as you've got the card of attraction. Okay. So enjoy this moment with them and every moment that you can be close to them. Have passion by all means. But if you want to make this a long-term relationship, if you've just started, then let them know what your boundaries are. Okay? And be, let your inner child come out and enjoy the passion and make the love grow. Um, like I said, if you've met, if you are hooked up, then this is your true love. If not, if you've just started, then this could be your true love. Give this relationship a chance. 
um, whether you are going in a if you are in a down spiral moment or in an up going moment if things are going too fast then make it and you want to slow it down let them know um, what you want let them know your boundaries know their boundaries talk to each other communicate tell each other your innermost secret and your longing perhaps you're wanting to get married perhaps you want a baby and you don't want to be married but talk about it talk about it get creative solutions think outside the box and learn to compromise career is not everything because if you work all the time it makes jack a dull boy and your partner in crime in your love life will feel left out three is a crowd and this is the first time i'm seeing that in this card okay three is a crowd so don't let your career take first place you are the first place then your partner and then your career but make sure you have the balance between career and work uh, career and love because you have to survive i know the bills and everything else so don't worry share the problems share the issues talk to each other if you can't get out of the situation if you can't resolve it get help okay i hope you have enjoyed this reading cancer and i wish you lots of happiness success every day every week and every month and i hope you've enjoyed this reading so please do us all a favor share this with family and friends and give us the thumbs up remember together we stand strong so give us the thumbs up and i hope to see you in the live sessions if you're new and of course my cyber angel i'll see you in the live Take care. Be blessed. Ciao, ciao.